Interested in working with patients in technology? Consider becoming a cardiology technologist. People in this occupation work with other healthcare professionals. They test, monitor, and evaluate heart function using a variety of electronic equipment. We spoke with a cardiology technologist to get to the heart of this interesting occupation. A cardiology technologist is a person who works within the healthcare field in the cardiac department. We analyze electrocardiograms. We place electrodes on the patient's chest, arms and legs and with this we are able to transmit an electrical impulse and through this electrical impulse we are able to analyze the graph and determine a regular or normal uh, ECG or electrocardiogram versus one with an arrhythmia or, or a complication. To get a good clear ECG for interpretation is also one of our duties. And in order to do this, our patient has to be comfortable because as soon as they tense up, then we're not going to get a clear electrocardiogram. Hi, can I see what you're here for today? Oh, an ECG and a stress test. Come on with me, please. Thank you. I'm passionate about the heart, so this was perfect for me when I read up about becoming a cardiology technologist, I realized that it specializes in the heart. Um, it works within the healthcare field, so I'm not sitting at a desk 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, and I'm able to move around a little bit. There's different components of our job, which is um, the electrocardiograms that we do with the patients, stress testing, and Holter scanning. So there is subdivisions within the cardiology technologist position. I would arrive at 8 a.m. and the first thing I would do is meet up with the supervisor and the, and the staff members and make sure that where I'm going, what location is predetermined for me. If I was going to start my day doing stress testing, first of all I would clean the area of the room so make sure everything's sanitary. Then when the patient arrived I would take them into a prep room and we would be putting the electrodes on their chest and then we plug them into the, a lead wire and tie a belt around their um, abdomen and explain the test, ask them if they've ever had this test before and explain it to them. Then we would bring them into the testing room. We would enter all their information into the computer to make sure that this is the correct patient, this is the correct protocol for the test. And we would have them sit there, we would take a blood pressure, a standing and a sitting blood pressure. After that, the nurse practitioner would arrive, or a cardiologist, and we would get them onto the treadmill. During the testing, we would actually ask the patient to grade how hard they're working, so that we, we would be monitoring how the patient feels, the overall appearance of the patient, the ECG, or electrocardiogram, and the blood pressure. So with this, we can get a picture of um, what's happening with the patient and how far we can, we can stress them on the treadmill. A Holter monitor is a 24-hour electrocardiogram. So basically the patients come into the, the outpatient clinic and we apply the Holter monitor onto them. They go home, they sleep, they do their normal activities and they record a diary of what the events that they're doing. So the next day they're going to come in and they will remove the Holter monitor. We take the disc out and we scan the Holter. So that means that we are actually looking at every beat that they've had. We're looking at it to determine if it's a normal beat or an abnormal beat. The people that come in re with requirements have completed a college course from the various colleges across Canada. They are also eligible to write their national exams. So we require their either registered techs after writing their national exams or at least pass their college course requirements and are just waiting for their exams. When somebody comes to us at the entry level, we basically have them do ECGs for, for uh, a satisfactory period until we're sure that they understand all the different arrhythmias, are aware of the life-threatening versus harmful versus non-harmful and so on and so forth and make sure that they uh, work well with teammates such as nurses, doctors, fellow techs, public, family, so on and so forth, and they adopt very well into the position. There will be room for advancement in this course. If they're ambitious enough, get into research, which is an area quite in a specialty by itself, 
They can do uh, pacemaker insertion with the physicians in the operating rooms. And uh, maybe in the future, who knows what's going to come down with the technology involved. Safety precautions that we normally use, typically at the Mazankowski, are gloves. Other than that, if we have an infected patient, we would be putting on a mask, a gown, so it's important to use all these safety equipment. To be a good cardiology technologist, you would want somebody who would like to be active in their workplace, um, who can, can interact with many different types of people, like uh, your, your colleagues or your patients, and who is confident in, um, in their skills and determined to do a good job. This job allows me to have a work-life balance. I can come to work from 8 to 4 and have time for myself and activities that I enjoy. I enjoy to um, run, I enjoy um, yoga, I go to a yoga class three times a week and I, I like to have physical activity in my life. The most satisfying aspect of my work is dealing with patients. Even though I have a passion for the, the physical heart um, and what I'm reading and interpreting the electrocardiograms, I, I like interacting with people. I didn't want to be sitting in an office somewhere looking at a computer screen. I wanted to be interacting with people and I guess learning from them. To become a cardiology technologist, you will typically need two to five years of post-secondary education or training. If the occupation of cardiology technologist interests you, there's more information available, including educational requirements and salary ranges in the occupational profiles on ALICE. You may also be interested in the related occupations of diagnostic medical sonographer or electroneurophysiology technologist. Learn more on the ALICE website and make the most of your future. Visit us at alice.alberta.ca.